crime, okay? It actually it, is. If, if talking loud, talking too much, or talking too fast was a crime, I'd be, I'd have a life sentence in jail. Cheers. Welcome to another episode of Almost Rich, Almost Famous, Almost Daily. And do I have a story for you? I love it when you start the dailies like this, because I can just sit back. You can tell me all the crazy stuff, and I'm sure you'll ask me some kind of crazy follow-up question. Yeah, well, <laughs> this actually, it reminded me of you. So I was scrolling through my social media um, this past weekend, and I saw this story. And, like, we always talk about how you talk really loudly. Like, you, like, well, first of all, you talk just all the time. But second of all, <laughs> you talk really loud. And so I thought the story pertained to you. Oh, okay, great. Great, okay. A Michigan woman was fined $385 for talking too loud. Hey, so, that's, not, that's not a crime, okay? It actually it, is. If, if talking loud, talking too much, or talking too fast was a crime, I'd, be, I'd have a life sentence in jail. It's, you actually really would. Yeah. And this, but I think this is like, uh, this is like for you to pay attention. Don't talk too loud. Don't talk too much because this woman got fined. I don't even understand. Wait, her neighbor called the cops on her. Oh, really? We've talked, we've talked shit about this before. When you and I are on a plane and there's the guy next to you who gets on the phone right when the plane lands, is like, hey man, just landed. I'm going to be there in a few minutes. Come pick me up at gate C. Like, shut up. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, well, honestly, what the most annoying thing for me is when people talk on speakerphone in public, like when they're on a plane or you're walking down the street and they're like, yeah, oh yeah, I'll, okay, yeah, great. I'll meet you there. Yep, I'll meet you at Ruth's Chris at this time. Yeah, make sure you get the do- the bottle of Dom while I get there. Like, okay, we, we get it. You have money and you wanted to let me know that, hey, I'm going to a fancy restaurant and ordering the fanciest shit. I don't care. Okay, well, I actually do that. Not the fancy part, but like, I'm so lazy and I never have my headphones. So like, if I'm talking to like my sister walking down the street, like I just talk like this because I think it's like you and I walking down the street talking, like I always have my phone on speaker. I know it's so annoying. I mean, the worst is the airplane. Do you remember on our way back from Miami and I almost like just punched the lady behind me <laughs> because she was doing that, but she's talking to her boyfriend. And then like, he's like, all right, wanting to get off the phone and she just keeps talking louder and louder. And I wanted to turn around like, I, I'm trying to sleep. I don't care about what you want to talk to with your man about. Well, so this woman, she, she says it's racially motivated. She is a black woman, her white, neighbor called the cops on her but I promise I want to call the cops on a million people when they do this I think it's just obnoxious well my the worst one for me is when like dudes are trying to impress you like if me and you are sitting at a bar or walking down the street and they're like oh look like two girls and they start doing like the whole like oh yeah well I got a surgery at this time yeah I gotta go I gotta go in I know I already saved five lives yesterday but I've got another one I'm like Oh, oh my god are you a doctor no way like let's go grab a drink like no I, I actually don't care when don't they're talking care. about their like crazy like trips they have coming <laughs> up like huh like it's so weird that people think that that's what's gonna impress people I'm like no I actually want to punch you because you're being so loud and obnoxious now I gotta talk louder <laughs> to my friend because I can't hear myself think because you're talking so goddamn loud and your friend just wants to leave the bar that's me I just want to leave. I don't want to hear him talk. I don't want to hear you talk louder. I just want the whole thing to be over. What a nightmare. You, you know what's like the worst for me? This is what I know like my least compatible people are people that also like to talk a lot and are loud because then it does. It gets to be like a battle. And like, I hate when people interrupt me. So I'll be telling a story and then they interrupt and they just keep getting louder instead of like pausing to say I'm done. Like they'll just like, we'll do that. And we get in a battle. I'm like, all right, well, I, I guess we don't have our talk again. I, I, um, have seen you do that in person before. I mean, it's just so rude when people interrupt my stories. Well, sometimes your stories need to be interrupted only because sometimes they go a little long. 
and like I get lost and then you're like well I just told you that I'm like yes but I was daydreaming because you literally just have been going for 15 minutes on this like one this beginning part of the story that's besides the point I was going I was saying that I like have seen you like talk and then this person's talking to you and they get here and then you go here and then they go here and then you go here. It's just this constant battle for talkers. Like I have no idea what it's all about because I just want to be quiet my whole life. I don't know. Um, but well, you're I just so love competitive this. too. So I'm like, all right, if you're gonna sit here and be like, who can interrupt who more? Like you interrupted me. So I'm just gonna keep going yeah. louder and louder. And then I'm gonna no lose way. my voice. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that though about how like my stories are long because um, I got feedback from our content director that says more details, the better. And I was like, oh, done. I was like, you want me to tell longer stories and have bigger details when I'm talking on ESPN? Perfect. Well, you were definitely in the right profession because all you do on content is talk. And all we did on our last episode that dropped on Friday was, I don't even remember what we talked about. What did we, we talk talked about? about? So our, because of our last daily, that was so popular about having passcodes to your partner's phones and just access. We talked about way more than just having a passcode. We talked about shared locations, shared social media accounts bank accounts, everything. It gets really good. So if you have not listened to our latest episode, it is up on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and the Land on Demand. We'll be having another episode drop next week too. But I'm going to rest my voice this week because I do a lot of talking. Please do. Cheers.